we've uh, we've done some soil tests, but I wanted to show you the actual procedure what I've been doing over this last this this acreage or where we're gonna have the hemp uh, the hemp farm. So what I'm gonna do uh, the tools that you're gonna you, that you're gonna use are gonna be just a, a bucket. This could be a five gallon bucket. This one's about three and a half uh, gallons. Uh, soil probe. Your soil probe is gonna have a hole down here at the end, and it's gonna have this open channel here because. The way I'm going to pull this sample is I'm going to insert it right into the ground, get me a core, and then I'm going to do a twist on it to grab that core through that soil channel, okay? Next thing I want to do, you can see I got soil right here. I got my sample right here. I'm going to want to dig it out. I'm going to use my hand spade to dig it out, put it into the bucket. And I've done about 20 more samples of this all the way around this field. This field goes... From, it's running from north to south that way. I guess we're on the south end, south to north. And then it does a dog leg from west to east all the way back to the other side of this road that curves around. We're gonna plow all of this under. I may bush hog some of this just to get this organic matter down onto the ground because then after we plow it under, it's just gonna decay and release all those nutrients from it. I also may come back in for weed eradication and do a flame weeding. Uh, that's going to uh, uh, give me the ability to avoid having to put any type of pesticides or herbicides on this, on, this grant, on this ground. One of the reasons I'm keeping a video record of what we're doing here, and I will post the, the, um, the results of the soil sample, is because I want the end buyer, even though we're going to be processing this hemp as well, I want the end buyer, even though we're not going to be organic certified, to be able to have a record of how we actually manage this particular crop, meaning without pesticides, chemical herbicides, or also chemical fertilizers. So, um, oh, one more step that you do once we get our soil samples in is uh, we mix it up. We, use, we can use this spade to mix this sample up because what we wanna do is have a, a profile that reflects the nutrients organic matter and moisture level of this entire crop area so uh, there it is in a nutshell uh, we had a, we had a little bit of a uh, issue with mother nature we came out here and started this process and the rain just came on down came on down and I didn't mind doing that and it's okay if you do yours in the rain uh, but the rain was uh, the, you couldn't hear what I was saying so um, there it is in its simplicity. Uh, the next we'll talk about will be getting the soil sample. Also, I'll probably video me boxing this up and actually submitting it to the extension office so we can get this, this profile. Thanks a lot.